Finally today, the question, how are you going to end the show, is one we've actually had to answer a number of times throughout the run of Most Buffalo, particularly in moments when tone was top of mind, and if you've been here, then you know. This was a space that was sometimes silly and sometimes serious. But on Fridays, it became reserved for the mostly memorable moments of the week, one of our most popular segments, and so we thought what better way to wrap up than with an epic version to celebrate this time we've spent together. On April 10th, Most Buffalo made its Channel 2 debut. You are watching Most Buffalo. It is a new show, and this is our first day. We figured people might be skeptical. We got a call to our newsroom today from a viewer who said Most Buffalo was most uninteresting and that we should, quote, do better. I'm not gonna lie, that stung a little bit at first, and then I thought, you know what? It is a Most Buffalo response. Thanks for watching. Doesn't that sound like a great way of putting it? <laughs> That's more like it. We have the stuff you need to know and even the stuff you didn't know you need to know. Let's make the most of it. Maria is making fun of my outfit. <laughs> There's a lot going on that has nothing to do with what's supposed to be going on. Trust the process. If you can sum up how you're feeling right now in one word, what is it? Awesome. Great. Excellent. This is just the latest in a whole list of adventures. Get, get out of the studio. Load on, load on. I'm just doing my blimp impression. I had my Buffalo Bills hat on. Yeah, I did. If you had an animal defend you in a court of law, <gasps> which one would it be? I'm going to probably say a fox. Oh, smart. I feel like foxes would make good lawyers. I feel like they're smart. I feel like they're well-dressed. Um, I feel like they're funny. I feel like they would have some good, you know, quips. I'm going to say a dolphin. Oh. Let me tell you what. First I of all, this so much. the little flat head, <laughs> hard to resist. <laughs> As your attorney. What a great question. Which one would you choose? Well, it'd be a porcupine. <laughs> because Zero hesitation. If you pissed off the porcupine, he would shoot quills at you. I think a, a draft would be great because they'd be so uh, intimidated. Yeah. <laughs> They just walk in, they're like, oh. Like this giraffe is really gonna win. This guy means business, and have you yeah. seen this tie? Have you seen this tie? I'm gonna think about this question for the rest of the day. <laughs> Today's case is the season of summer versus the season of fall. Uh, are we ready, counselors? Yeah, we are. Is it hot in here, or is it just me? Yes. A highly disturbing video about how to eat a chili dog featuring a woman named Janet who calls herself the queen who calls herself, who calls herself the, <clears throat> who calls herself the queen of ween. <laughs> Everybody, you can't go to the ball game. You can't see it at all. Buy your own peanuts and cracker jacks or just stay home and eat some other snacks. Let me root, root, root for the Blue Jays. If they don't win, I won't know, cause I'm not, there, I'm drinking beers with my cat at home. We truly cannot thank you enough for being here, supporting Most Buffalo, and making this your happy hour. For Maria Gennaro and all of us at Most Buffalo, this is Kate Bell Chauffeur. Be well, stay well.